Welcome to Using UCCX Unified Intelligence Center. I'm Marty Griffin, a Cisco Contact Center instructor from Sunset Learning Institute. This video presents the topic of creating and managing dashboards for UCCX CUIC. This video is one of a multi-part series addressing using CUIC. Dashboard is a unique feature of Cisco Unified Intelligence Center, which lets you display multiple objects like a web page, some widgets, and some reports in a nice consolidated view. Let's get started with an overview. A dashboard is a single page that consolidates the display of reports, schedule reports, sticky notes, and web-based elements such as URLs and web widgets. Dashboards are usually personalized for the supervisor or agent who has specific metrics to observe related to their job responsibilities. Dashboard users do not require user reporting roles. Only reporting users with dashboard designer roles assigned can create and manage dashboards. CUIC is not installed with any default dashboard. Let's see what it takes to create a dashboard. Here we are going to click on the dashboard and we would note that we are logged in as a CUIC administrator and because of that we can create with a right click a subcategory and I'm going to create a subcategory called Martin and we'll see in a few minutes why this is important and it, to sum it up uh, it's important because we're going to use live data in our reports. The administrator cannot see live data. So we've created a folder for our own and here we can right click and create a dashboard. And the name of this dashboard is going to be called Martin's Dashboard. Whoops and we'll give everybody read-write capabilities here. And now we have a empty dashboard, nothing in it, for Martin. We note that uh, we're logged in as CUCX administrator, but we would like to log in as user Martin. Let's go check the user list for user Martin and check it out. There's user CCX user Martin and it turns out that he has system configuration administrator, security administrator, but most importantly he's got the dashboard designer role assigned to them. So that's a cool thing. That's what we needed to have happen. So let's just simply log out and log back in as Martin and then we'll go ahead and configure our dashboard. We'll go on up to the dashboard drawer here and discover the dashboards. Running a little slow here this morning. And we'll open up Martin's dashboard. When it gets open, we see there's nothing in it, but it's turn our turn now to add. This customer would like a couple of live age uh, live data reports. One of them is the agent CSQ statistics report and the other is the voice CSQ summary report and we have copied those up into our very custom stock reports folder and here is the voice CSQ summary dash I put the dash at the end of it so we can identify it and the agent CSQ statistics dash in preparation for putting these reports in a dashboard we copied the voice CSQ summary report and the agent CSQ statistics report and placed them into our custom stock reports. There are two things that we had to do to each one of these reports. Let's open up the agent CSQ statistics. It says dash in there. And we see the report just popped right on up. Let's go take a look at the two things that we did to that report. For that report, we'll do a little right click and edit. And we'll note the two things that are necessary. In this particular case, we needed to make sure that the bypass filter dialog box has been checked. 
and that precludes having that dialog box pop up. We don't want that to happen in a dashboard. And then we edited the default filter. So when it did come up, it was as if we adjusted everything on the filter page that didn't exist anyhow. So if I look at edit the default filter here, I see that sales and support are the two CSQs that uh, have been moved over there and they are basically there for us to keep now. This is all good. So those are the two modifications that were necessary to have this uh, report pop up in a dashboard. So now we've opened Martin's dashboard here and we see absolutely nothing in it. Let's add some reports. Let's go add a report and we're going to name this report the Agent CSQ Stats. And in that we'll select the report, the Agent CSQ Stats, highlight that, and come on down here to the bottom and click OK. And as you note, this Agent CSQ Stats will now fill in. Now that it's now that it's filled in, we can adjust the size and a couple little double arrows over here gives us a chance to click on auto refresh or not. Of course we do. We want that to auto refresh. Kind of a little tight there, so we'll make that a little smaller. And kind of a cool thing here is that we actually can make some adjustments here if we wish in the way this is displayed. Yeah, I'm going to get call waiting there and I see the uh, one right next to it is uh, taking up a little room so we'll get him a little bit better click on that page and we've got an organization thing so now we've got the agent CSQ stats in here and let's go add yet another report in here and that is going to be our voice CSQ summary it is a report there. We're going to leave this size stuff all pretty much the same. And we'll pull up the voice CSQ summary and load that one up and see it populate. And there it is. And we can resize that to make it pretty. And let's do that. And probably stretch it across most of the page here. And there we are. That's a very nice looking. Apparently, we've got. Uh, agents logged in there and we'll make that a little prettier by making it a little wider and sure enough we got uh, at least two agents logged in one agent is still talking one agents ready and the kind of information uh, that is necessary for a supervisor uh, these can be adjusted uh, to make them kind of pretty if we wish um, and we can uh, assume that we can change the size of these columns. Well now let's add a URL to our dashboard. We'll kind of tidy some things up here a little bit. There we go. And in this area over here on the right we'll put the web page for administering uh, finesse. And so we'll do a little add job here. And we'll select this to be Finance Administration. Uh, we'll put a report type. Nope, nope. We're going to put a URL in there this time. Yep. And for here we needed to identify what the URL HTTPS and it is Finance Administration and we'll pump up a little OK here. And what we'll get is a web page for Finance Administration. And sure enough, here's the page. We'll move it around a little bit and poke it over here to the right. Uh, tighten this up a little bit. Whoops. There we go. And stretch this out somewhat because we'll take up that whole space. There we go. And what we've got here is our finesse administration page and um, just an example of how to get a URL into your dashboard. And now just for fun, let's add a sticky note. So a little add function up here. And the name of this is going to be called a sticky note. Let's see if we have that available to us. Yeah, not exactly, but um, 
this is called a reminder. There we go. And nope, it's not a report, it is a sticky note. And the sticky note that we're going to put in here is going to be buy some corn dogs today. And a little OK action. And sure enough, we have a sticky note that has popped up. We can adjust the size of that sticky note to be a little smaller and move it down here to the corner where we're just keeping a little note for ourselves. We've kind of assembled the way we would like this to look and let's not forget to save our dashboard. Now that we've created dashboards, let's create ways of looking at those dashboards. Permalinks are effectively permanent hyperlinks to either dashboards or reports. Let's investigate. So let's see what we can do to create a permalink for a custom stock report. Why custom, you ask? Well, here is a stock report called Agent Call Summary. If I right click on that, I note, if I right click on that, I note that the Edit Views is not available to me. And I need Edit Views in order to make this work. Hmm. I've made a copy of this and put it in my custom stock reports folder. It is the agent call summary report. I finished it up with Martin. And if I do right click on that, edit views is available to me. Let's go see why that's important. Edit views has been punched and we see that there are four possible views for that report. One of them is just simply the agent call summary report. And now I have a link, links button here that's available to me. Let's punch that up. And we see three types of links that are available. Uh, the one we're interested in is an HTML link, but the other two are an Excel link and an XML link. This HTML link will gather that together and do a control C on that to copy it. I've also enabled unauthenticated access for this particular uh, effort. Now let's see what that buys us. I can open up a new tab here and I can paste in that link. And that link now yields the report that we're looking for, the agent call summary report on somebody's desktop. It would be cool if a user could just put a shortcut on their desktop. Let's check that out and see if we can pull that off here. And sure enough, I've got my desktop open here. I am not displaying any of my icons there, so let's go show those icons. And let's do something interesting here. We're going to create a new uh, shortcut on the desktop, and we'll paste in that URL that we're interested in and click next and we're going to call this the agent call summary click finish and sure enough we've created a icon here for a shortcut if you will for that particular report Let's go check that out here a little bit. I'll push this down. We just punch up agent call summary. We open up our desktop and sure enough. And there you have the report has popped up uh, from the shortcut on the desktop. Pretty cool, huh? We can also create a permalink for a live data report. Here's one here, this voice CSQ summary. And um, We'll bring that report up and you notice that it will just pop right up because we have done those two things to this report that we needed to do. Um, we'll kill that for right now and do a right click on this. And we see that we can edit views. And the edit views says, look, we want to go see the snapshot. And we punch up links and copy the entire URL this time. However, I notice that I cannot punch up enable unauthenticated access for this. 
Huh. So what I'm going to do is we'll open up a little session here. And let's go see if we can actually punch that in. And when I do, I will see that it will require authentication. And this is a report authentication, a report user. And sure enough, I'm going to need to authenticate. So we'll log in. And up will pop the report that we we're looking for. So live data reports need to be authenticated when we're using them with a permalink. And to wrap up this permalink discussion, let's create one for a dashboard. I have opened up the dashboards here and I have Martin's dashboard. If I right click on that I can find the HTML link and on the HTML link I am going to hit control C and discover that sure enough if I paste that control C back into a browser I will come up with that dashboard and up pops the dashboard and the supervisor can build a shortcut on their desktop just like we did for the previous report and have that available to them readily as they need the dashboard pretty cool huh well that about wraps it up for creating and managing dashboards hopefully we've given you enough information to get in and manage your own dashboards and create some permalinks and uh, make all that work in CUIC we thank you for listening. We'll see you on the next videos.